step into the twilight zone of television history with The Outer Limits, a 1963 series that left an indelible mark on the industry. What enduring qualities make this show a timeless emblem of television? Was there a particular role that stood out as your favorite? Share your thoughts in the comments below, we're eager to hear your perspectives. But before we dive into your memories, let's set the stage with some random facts about this iconic series. Premiering on September 16, 1963, The Outer Limits captivated audiences with its unique blend of science fiction, horror, and speculative fiction. Created by Leslie Stevens, the show explored the boundaries of human imagination and the consequences of tampering with the unknown. The series, known for its distinctive opening narration and eerie control voice, presented standalone episodes that ranged from thought-provoking to spine-chilling. With a talented cast and visionary storytelling, The Outer Limits carved its niche in the annals of television, inspiring generations to come. Now, back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Outer Limits? Whether it's a suspenseful episode that left you on the edge of your seat or a character whose journey resonated with you, we'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Engage with the otherworldly legacy of The Outer Limits and share your reflections after all. Great stories deserve to be shared. So, what enduring qualities and favorite roles come to mind? Tell us your tales of television's Twilight Zone. The Outer Limits, a classic TV series from 1963, holds intriguing behind-the-scenes stories. One notable instance is the first season finale, The Forms of Things Unknown. Originally intended as a pilot by series creator Joseph Stefano, it faced rejection from network executives. Undeterred, Stefano repurposed it into an episode for the series. Another noteworthy fact ties the series to modern music. The song We Control the Sound by W&W &W and Headhunters features a reprise of the iconic opening narration. There is nothing wrong with your sound system. Do not attempt to adjust the volume. We're now control transmissions. In its concluding moments, The Outer Limits faced an unusual twist during its series finale, The Probe, aired on January 16, 1965. The live announcer, breaking from the norm, spoke over the control voice's closing statement about returning next week at the same time. Instead, the announcer declared that the King family show would take the slot. These anecdotes showcase the creative journey and unexpected turns within the outer limits, adding layers to its legacy as a groundbreaking series in the 1960s. This blend of rejected pilots, musical echoes, and on-air surprises contributes to the unique narrative of the outer limits. Five episodes of the 1963 TV series The Outer Limits found a second life in the show's later years. Notably, I, Robot, A Feasibility Study, Nightmare, and The Inheritors, Part I and Part II were remade, each retaining the essence of the original plots. Interestingly, The Outer Limits, The Human Factor, and The Outer Limits, The Human Factor share only the title, having no connection beyond that. This recycling of episodes speaks to the enduring appeal and creativity of The Outer Limits. The decision to remake certain stories suggests a belief in their timeless and captivating nature. It also underscores the series' impact, as these narratives were deemed worthy of a contemporary retelling. The recycling of episodes wasn't the only crossroads of The Outer Limits with other iconic shows. Gene Roddenberry, the mastermind behind Star Trek, was a notable fan of The Outer Limits. Roddenberry's admiration went beyond mere appreciation. He frequently visited the set, incorporating elements like crew, cast, costumes, and props from The Outer Limits into the fabric of his own groundbreaking space exploration series. The collaboration between The Outer Limits and Star Trek adds an intriguing layer to the legacy of both shows. It showcases a camaraderie among creators and a shared belief in the imaginative power of science fiction. The impact of The Outer Limits wasn't confined to its own episodes. It rippled through the cosmos of television, influencing even the futuristic adventures of the Starship Enterprise. In the realm of narration, Vic Perrin, the voice behind the iconic opening and closing statements of The Outer Limits, revealed a fascinating tidbit. Despite recording almost all of his narrations in one or two studio sessions, Perrin admitted to having no idea about the episode's content. His ability to sound authoritative on unknown subjects became a humorous aspect of his contribution to the series, adding an unexpected layer to the creation of the show. 
These facets, the recycled episodes, the crossover with Star Trek, and Vic Perrin's unique narration process highlight the multifaceted impact of The Outer Limits. Beyond its standalone episodes, the series wove itself into the fabric of television history through collaboration, innovation, and a touch of narrative mystery. The Outer Limits, a sudden plunge in the shadows and a surprising turn of events. The television network ABC dealt a fatal blow to the 1963 TV series The Outer Limits by strategically shifting its time slot during the second season. Initially a hit, especially among younger viewers, the show faced a grim fate when it was moved from Monday nights to 7.30 p.m. on Saturdays. This ill-advised change not only placed it in an inappropriate time slot for its target audience, but also made it the lead-in for The Lawrence Welk Show. Competing against the popular Jackie Gleason, American Scene Magazine on CBS further compounded the issue. The consequence was clear halfway into the second season. The series was pulled due to dismal ratings. The abrupt decline in viewership serves as a stark example of a network's decision to sabotage a once popular show by placing it in an unsuitable schedule. The misguided move showcased the impact of strategic scheduling choices on the fate of a television series, leaving the outer limits in the shadows of cancellation. The Outer Limits, unveiling Hollywood's dark past in a surprising twist. Numerous guest stars on The Outer Limits had once been victims of the infamous Hollywood blacklist. Icons like Jeff Corey, Marsha Hunt, Kirk Conway, Lloyd Goh, Howard Da Silva, and Sam Wanamaker found refuge in the show, marking their return to the screen after a decade of silence. For these seasoned performers, The Outer Limits became a pivotal chapter, breaking the shackles of a blacklist era that had kept them away from cameras for years. As the series unfolded, its unique approach to storytelling emerged. Initially named Please Stand By, The Outer Limits underwent a significant transformation. Fearing public unease due to the recent Cuban Missile Crisis, executives opted for a change. The control voice's directive to please stand by during commercial breaks became a subtle nod to the series' original title and the socio-political climate that shaped its evolution. Beyond the screen, the show's production choices added an intriguing layer. In the first season, executives, hungry for immediate action, demanded an early glimpse of what they referred to as the bear. This led to a distinctive episode structure, starting with a scene featuring the bear, followed by the control voice's enigmatic introduction, a commercial break, and then the episode's proper commencement. This pattern persisted until the outer limits, the forms of things unknown. Moreover, the second season brought a shift. Starting with the outer limits, soldier episodes not only showcased the bear, but also reverted to the original format of opening with the control voice prelude. This change in dynamics demonstrated the evolving creative decisions that shaped the show's narrative structure. In unraveling these facets, The Outer Limits emerges not just as a sci-fi series, but as a stage where the shadows of Hollywood's past meet the uncertainties of a nation on the brink. The return of blacklist victims, the covert reference to a world on edge, and the intriguing shift in episode structure paint a complex picture of a series that transcended mere entertainment, tapping into the pulse of its tumultuous time. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic realms of the outer limits, let the echoes of its 1963 inception linger in the corridors of your mind. In the vast cosmic tapestry of television history, this series remains a pulsating anomaly, a crystalline intersection of the eerie and the extraordinary. As you reflect on your personal odyssey through the interdimensional corridors that the show unraveled, ponder the peculiar beauty of its narratives. Each episode, a synapse firing in the collective imagination, left indelible imprints on the psyche. What inexplicable resonance did it strike within you? Was it the unnerving uncertainty of the unknown, the uncanny tales that dared to dance on the fringes of reality? Now, let's traverse the blurred boundary between viewer and the viewed. What memories stir within you? Did the haunting intro music send shivers down your spine? Or perhaps it was the philosophical musings that lingered, inviting you to question the limits of your own understanding. In this digital agora, share your clandestine rendezvous with the outer limits. Illuminate the comments section with your cosmic revelations and intimate connections with the characters that dared to traverse the twilight zones of your consciousness. Unearth the gems of nostalgia, the fragments of emotion that time has not dulled. 
As we embark on this communal journey, remember, The Outer Limits is not merely a series. It's a cosmic tapestry woven with the threads of our collective curiosity. Your reflections, a constellation of thoughts, will illuminate the universe of shared experiences. Thank you, kind Voyager, for venturing into the enigmatic realms with us. Your time and reflections are the stardust that enriches the cosmic legacy of the outer limits. Until our paths cross again in the labyrinth of timeless tales.